we have uncovered so many important structures that prove this temple functioned as a temple during the time of Queen Cleopatra and the Greek pharaohs. In their search for the tomb of the mythical Egyptian Queen Cleopatra, experts have found what they refer to as undiscovered marvels in Egypt. With the revelation of long-forgotten details and customs surrounding ancient Egyptian art and burial, this discovery has confounded scientists and researchers. Be prepared to be astonished as we dive into scientists in Egypt just announced that while looking for Cleopatra, they found an untouched miracle. Number 15, Valley of the Kings. The Valley of the Kings discovery during Cleopatra's search is another captivating mystery. The location is known for its historical significance, as the ancient burial ground served as the last resting place for pharaohs, queens, and influential nobles from the New Kingdom period. No, it's not an ancient gathering spot for rulers to have discussions. The valley was a great place to protect tombs from grave robbers and looters because of its seclusion and unique rock formation. The pharaohs selected this peaceful, barren location because they thought it was the entrance to the afterlife, from which they could travel to the world of gods. More than 60 tombs have been found since its discovery in the 18th century, including those of well-known monarchs like Ramesses II and Tutankhamun. Number 14, The Book of the Dead, Unlocking the Secrets of the Afterlife. It's not what you might believe that the mysterious Book of the Dead was discovered underground during the hunt for Cleopatra. It would have been simple to locate if it had been Cleopatra's tomb. The informal collection of written funerary texts known as the Book of the Dead is made up of various magic spells, hymns, and rites meant to facilitate a deceased person's trip through the underworld and into the afterlife, as well as to guarantee their safe arrival in the domain of Osiris, the god of the underworld. Number 13, Golden Tongue Mummy. The discovery of the mummy with the golden tongue is amazing since it seems to be unique among all the other mummies that have been found. The golden tongue needs to be very important. At first glance, the linen-covered mummy appeared unremarkable, but the golden object concealed behind its mouth captivated scientists and led to a rush of questions. The tongue's painstakingly carved pure gold and exquisitely engraved hieroglyphics astounded the scientific community. This discovery is extremely valuable since it could lead to the discovery of Cleopatra's body and reveal unanswered mysteries from a bygone era. Research first suggested that the mummy belonged to a well-known scribe who was probably highly respected in ancient Egyptian culture. Number 12, The Long Lost Pyramid. The long-forgotten pyramid is one of the most important archaeological finds in Egypt and has captured the attention of people worldwide. An ancient pyramid that had been hidden for millennia was discovered as a result of the long-running search for the final resting place of one of ancient history's most mysterious figures, Cleopatra. This groundbreaking discovery illuminated Egypt's past and provided important new understandings of the intricacies of ancient Egyptian civilization as well as Cleopatra's legacy. Equipped with cutting-edge technology and historical documents, a group of committed archaeologists set out on a brand new mission to solve the mystery surrounding Cleopatra's tomb at the beginning of the 21st century. Number 11, Two Mummies of High Status People. Two mummies were found during the hunt for Cleopatra, which fascinated and excited historians and archaeologists alike. These mummies provided a glimmer of hope that the famous Egyptian queen's final resting place might finally be discovered, adding to the centuries-long fascination with her location. The older lady, the first mummy, was discovered in 2007. She was found in the tomb of Amenhotep II in the Valley of the Kings in Luxor, Egypt, along with a collection of other royal mummies. The older woman was most likely Queen Tai, the mother of Akhenaten and the wife of Pharaoh Amenhotep III, according to a thorough forensic examination. The hunt for Cleopatra was still on, though. The second mummy, dubbed the Younger Lady, was subsequently discovered in 2009 within the same tomb. DNA testing revealed her to be the older woman's close relative, possibly even her daughter. Number 10, Great Temple of Osiris at Taposiris Magna. Taposiris Magna is a city established by Pharaoh Ptolemy II Philadelphus between 280 and 270 BC. The name means the Great Tomb of Osiris, which Plutarch identifies with an Egyptian temple in the city. After Alexander the Great conquered Egypt in 332 BC and established Alexandria, the city of Taposiris Magna became a center for the religious festival of Koyak. The Ptolemaic Kingdom, the last Egyptian dynasty, was established following this, as a Greek state during this Hellenistic period that lasted until the death of Cleopatra VII in 30 BC. Napoleon arrived in Egypt during 1798, 
and French scientists subsequently conducted a survey of the architecture of the city published in the description de l'Egypte. Number 9, Alexander Lighthouse. One of the most famous buildings in antiquity is the Alexander Lighthouse, commonly referred to as the Pharaohs of Alexandria, which is situated in Alexandria, Egypt. Built on the island of Pharos at the mouth of the city's harbor, the lighthouse was an imposing sight during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus. It acted as a beacon of guidance for sailors and tourists negotiating the Mediterranean Sea's hazardous waters. The architect Sostratus of Canadius created the pharaohs of Alexandria, which were finished about 280 BC. Standing between 100 and 130 meters tall, it was one of the highest man-made structures in antiquity and an engineering marvel of its time. Number 8, Discovery of the Lost Tomb of Osiris. One of the many things found during the hunt for Cleopatra's tomb is the location of the lost tomb of Osiris. An Egyptian god connected to the afterlife is Osiris. The tomb, which was discovered in the Nile Delta region, had elaborate murals that told the mythological tale of Osiris, including his death and resurrection. Ancient rituals and beliefs were revealed through the use of hieroglyphics and artifacts. The opulence and symbolic meaning of the tomb illuminated Osiris's worship and the customs of the era. This finding captivated historians and enthusiasts alike by expanding our knowledge of ancient Egyptian religion and mythology. Number 7, The Land of Wonder. Everybody has moments when they just need to take a nap, shut the door on the outside world, and take a break. For Queen Cleopatra, the Land of Wonder was precisely this. She perceived it as a place of spiritual solace from the political gamesmanship and turbulent affairs of her realm. Historians and archaeologists discovered a magical and enigmatic land of wonder buried beneath the Egyptian terrain while searching for Cleopatra. Through extensive excavations and a closer examination of historical documents, they unearthed a wealth of information that had been hidden for generations. It was thought that the mythical queen sought solace in this fabled land of wonder, also known as the lost oasis of Cleopatra, during turbulent times. Number 6, The Mysterious Life and Death of Queen Nefertiti. Famous Egyptian Queen Nefertiti lived in the 14th century BC, but her strange disappearance from historical accounts left researchers and archaeologists perplexed. Her name Nefertiti means the beautiful woman has come which might suggest a foreign origin, and her major function during the Amarna period, which is renowned for its religious reforms, was to serve as Pharaoh Akhenaten's wife. That being said, her name disappears from inscriptions during a brief and mysterious rule, leaving only ambiguity in its wake. This riddle was uncovered during the excavation of many texts and the search for Cleopatra's tomb. Numerous conjectures were raised by it. Number 5, The Land of Punt. During Cleopatra's reign, Egypt relied heavily on trade with the mysterious and ancient land of Punt. Punt's valuable resources and unique items made it a highly sought-after resort. At the time of Cleopatra, the appeal of Punt's unusual goods, gold, incense, ebony, ivory, and exotic animals, led to a quest for the region. In order to reach this legendary kingdom, Egyptian expeditions set out on journeys along the coast of the Red Sea, forging through hazardous waters and difficult terrain. The rich and alluring terrain that welcomed Cleopatra's envoys upon their arrival was made up of verdant plains, verdant woods, and attractive coasts. Number 4, Mysteries Behind the Egyptians' Love for Cats Remember the Egyptians' profound and enigmatic fondness of cats during Cleopatra's hunt? The deep affection Egyptians have for cats is among the riddles that have been solved. Cat symbols were discovered on the walls of objects and tombs. Early in the 1990s, historians and archaeologists learned that cats were connected to the feline goddess of protection, fertility, and home, Batet, in ancient Egypt. Batet was frequently shown as a house cat or with the head of a lioness. Cats were said to embody the supernatural qualities of this benign goddess, who provided protection to her devotees. Cats were loved in Egypt for purposes other than religious ones. In addition to being loved as pets, cats were recognized for the useful things they could provide for society. They kept pests like mice and rats out of dwellings and grain bins because they were expert hunters. Number 3. Ancient Clocks In addition to its amazing achievements in architecture and technology, ancient Egypt is well known for its timekeeping systems. To keep track of time in their daily lives, they created a variety of clocks. Even though they were less complex than contemporary clocks, these ancient Egyptian timepieces showed off their inventiveness and excellent knowledge of celestial movements. 
Six distinct historical clocks have been found in Egypt. Sundials are the first item on our list because they were among the first timepieces ever used in ancient Egypt. They used shadows cast by the sun's path across the sky to determine the time of day by marking specific surfaces. The water clocks, or clepsidras, come next. Number 2, the Jennifer Pyramid. Located in Abu Ra'ash, close to Giza, the Jennifer Pyramid, is an ancient Egyptian pyramid. It was constructed in the midst of the Old Kingdom's fourth dynasty. Pharaoh Khufu, whose father Pharaoh Jedefra ruled Egypt after him, built the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Jennifer Pyramid is made of granite and limestone pieces and has an amazing height of 62 meters. The approximate dimensions of its foundation are 106 meters on each side. The Jennifer Pyramid's unique architectural design, which consists of sloping sides that gradually curve inward as they climb, sets it apart from other pyramids of its era. Historians surmise that Jedefra's brief rule and potential unpopularity prevented the casing stones from ever being laid on the pyramid, which was initially supposed to have a smooth exterior coating of white Tura limestone. Number 1, Egyptian Blue. The ancient mysteries unearthed during the hunt for Cleopatra include colors as well. Though colors have always existed, blue had a distinct texture, hue, and meaning this time around. The ancient Egyptians held the color blue in high regard as a symbol of the divine, life, and rebirth. The earliest known synthetic pigment is this one. They linked blue to fertility and abundance, citing the Nile River as being essential to the flourishing of their society. Originally, they used natural resources like lapis lazuli, a valuable blue stone imported from Afghanistan, to make the blue paints. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another of our interesting videos before you leave.